Well, hello again, everybody. I'm Julie John, and we're here with Dr. Bob Rothbard from Rancho Cucamonga Optometric Center. Hi, Bob. Julie, how are you? Fantastic. Good. And tell me about our little Hawaiian friend here, the monkey. A little bobo over here was uh, deposited here by one of our patients who visited Hawaii. Fantastic, and he's sporting a nice pair of frames. Uh, needless to say, Bobo did not come over here with frames on his face. He but you help. fitted him? He had some vision problems. Did he, as his eyes were aging? No, he was just looking at computer screens. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh, I know how that can be. You bet. But that was going to be my segue into aging eyes, because we're going to talk today about senior citizens and uh, the people who are in our aging population. What kinds of special challenges do their eyes present? The biggest challenge with seniors is the fact that many of them or a good many of them, are not capable of 20-20 vision. Oh, really? And the reason they're not is for various reasons. Uh, cataracts, macular degeneration, mm -hmm. dryness of the front surface of their eyes, mm -hmm. and I would say these are the three main reasons why we have challenges with that. And that's sometimes tough for a senior to accept, mm -hmm. or anybody to accept, that sure. they can't see with glasses or contacts 20-20. It's just not an option. That is right. And, and that's because the, the diseases that you mentioned or the conditions that you mentioned have taken their eyes beyond where they can be. Right. Now, with cataract surgery, or well, with cataracts, of course, there's surgery that you can perform. Yeah. And it's really interesting because the loss of vision with cataracts is sometimes so slow they don't even realize they have a problem. But it's nothing like seeing the expression on someone who's had cataract surgery. They come out as oh. colors are so vivid. Oh, yeah. Things are so great and I'm really happy. That's neat. But one of the things that the surgeon checks for is that they want to know, especially individuals who have really bad vision mm -hmm. as a result of the cataracts, what is their vision going to be after they've had the surgery? Right. Because some of them will see perfectly and some of them some might of meet them. with disappointment right. due to other problems with the eyes. As I mentioned, right. macular degeneration is a big one. Mm -hmm. Macular is the area of the retina where you most focus clearly. Things are the clearest. Oh, so that's the definition of the macula. The macula is the central part of the eye where oh, okay. the light tends to focus on. Okay. And everything else, every other part of the retina, does not have nearly as clear a vision. Oh. So when you have macular degeneration sometimes, mm -hmm. and severe enough, when you look at someone, there could be a hole right in the middle of where you're looking, almost oh, like wow. a donut where a person will have to look off to the side and start to notice things off here, mm -hmm. but that area of vision is never as clear. Oh, wow. And so do they kind of tend to try to look out of the side of their eye and compensate for it? There's different modes of compensation mm -hmm. with this. And sometimes it's a problem when it's in both eyes. Oh, sure. It could be devastating. Most of macular degeneration is age-related. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, there are some genetic situations where younger individuals will develop it. Oh, really? I didn't know that. And I've seen it in individuals 20, 25, 30 years old, oh, wow. where you can see the beginnings of it. Oh, what a shame. It really is. Yeah. Because no matter what you do, uh, there's really not much that can be done. Now, with that statement in mind, mm -hmm. there is an immense amount of research they have made leaps and bounds it's, because there used to be nothing that could be done. There could be nothing. And in some individuals, there has been, one, they've been able to arrest the progression of the macular degeneration. Oh, that's fantastic. And two, mm -hmm. they've been able to actually restore some of the vision back. And over the next several years, we are going to see some tremendous strides in oh, dealing with it. that's great. And that's really exciting. Yeah. Uh, for some individuals right now, uh, the, some of the basics for preventive care mm -hmm. is one, wearing sunglasses when you go outside. Mm -hmm. Two, there are various vitamins mm -hmm. that you can take. That uh, we talked about that in we our talked about health in and previous, supplements uh, In previous issue. segments. Uh -huh. And uh, it seems to make a difference for some people. But if you're going to take vitamins, you basically have to take them over a permanent... You just, for the rest of your life. Right. And what you've your... got to make sure of is if you're on different medications, blood thin is a big one. Oh. You need to check with your physician whether you can actually take the vitamins involved. Oh, I see. Okay. In combination with the medications the patient is taking. Oh, okay. Great. Another thing that's interesting about cataracts, because mm -hmm. you never realize it, 
There are certain types of cataracts that when you're indoors, you can actually see pretty well. Mm -hmm. And when you're exposed to bright light, mm -hmm. you can't see anything. Oh my the gosh. cataract, which is an opacity in the lens, mm -hmm. or sort of like the lens becoming cloudy, mm -hmm. with this type of cataract where it gets worse when there's a lot of light, uh, it's really interesting. You can measure the person 2020, shine a bright light next to them, shrink the pupil down, mm -hmm. and they can go from 2020 to 2400. Oh my gosh, wow. And so, interesting. That, a lot of cataracts is just the clouding of vision, so if they want to read, more light is advantageous. Right. So there are various types of cataracts uh -huh. that cause different types of problems. Another type of problem affecting seniors uh -huh. is the fact that there's sometimes a lack of coordination with the eyes. Oh, those look fantastic. Well, I, I love you. these. These are I my know, favorite. They're just you. I'm sorry, though. The uh, lack of coordination. Lack of coordination between the eyes, and therefore they have trouble seeing single vision. A lot of times they'll see double, or they'll have trouble switching their fo uh, focus mm -hmm. from reading to distance. Mm -hmm. And when I say focus, of course they don't have any ability to focus, so it's among the different areas of the lens that they're looking through, whether it be a bifocal, oh. trifocal, or even a progressive lens. Interesting. So they have to train themselves where to look. Train themselves where to look, or sometimes you need to put something in that lens to help them aim their eyes better. Oh. In the, this case, it could be prism. In some cases, yeah. with a very segment that we, different segment we recorded, they can actually be trained to coordinate their eyes a little bit better together. Right. I remember that one. That was fun. Mm -hmm. I also wanted to ask you about dry eyes and watery eyes with seniors. Is there anything that can be done for those conditions? Uh, various things can be done for uh, the dry eye. One, just to let you know, a lot of times the seniors who are actually tearing, for that matter, anybody, uh -huh. it's actually due to the eyes being dry. Uh, there are various medications. So watery eyes really is dry eyes? It could be. Oh, it not could ne be. Okay. Not necessarily. Sometimes what happens is there's a little bit of plumbing in the eyes uh -huh. where the tears drain out of. Uh -huh. Sometimes that becomes plugged. Oh, okay. Sometimes there are various components mm -hmm. of the whole tear layer. There's an oily layer, there's a lipid layer, wow. uh, a mucus, <laughs> wow. and just tears. And any breakdown in any of these layers uh, causes problems. could cause it? a problem. I didn't know there were so many layers. That's amazing. And a lot of times there's some new medications out that help you produce your own tears. Oh, wow. And so it could be any number of one of these things that can be causing the problem. So that has to be looked at. Sometimes I refer those situations out of the office. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we deal with them here. Well, that's great, Bob. Is there anything else you want to touch on with senior eyes? Or have we covered the gamut? I think we covered most of it. I'm sure there are other areas that are more particular to certain individuals, but for right now, those three things seem to be a good part of it. Well, great. Well, thank you. I learned a lot, and that was really fascinating. Thanks a lot, Bob. You bet, Julie.